Okay, I would just like to go over some of the main benefits and that you can discover that fish has got to offer to your body. So yeah, we all know that fish are very good or very high in omega-3s and omega-6 fatty acids, but there are also seven other very important nutrients and minerals that our body actually requires on a daily basis that we are probably deficient in. And consuming fish actually helps to um, ensure that we're getting the daily recommended intake for these particular nutrients. And I'm gonna go over these now. So we have magnesium, right? Magnesium is very crucial for many chemical reactions in the body. In fact, um, scientists and dietary nutritionists have actually, um, and researchers have actually explained and have actually found out that magnesium is actually responsible or takes part in over 300 chemical reactions in the body. So that means it helps to, it helps your muscles and nervous system to function properly. And if you, if you are nutritionally deficient in magnesium, then you may notice that you are suffering from some sort of muscle weakness or any types of symptoms along that line. We also have selenium. Now selenium is also um, a compound that you do find that's very high in Brazil nuts as well, which is, a, Brazil nuts is a high source of, has a high source of selenium, but also fishes contain a lot of, a lot of selenium too. And that's actually an antioxidant material that helps protect the cells in your body from the damage free radicals, so to speak. And not just that, it's also very important for the, for healthy sp sperm counts in men. So similar to pumpkin seeds or similar, I think pumpkin seeds also contain some selenium, I'm not quite sure, but, um, they do help to keep the the sperm count in men, in men at a healthy level. Okay. Thirdly, they contain many of the B vitamins, many of B vitamins such as niacin, for example, and and theamine. Okay. So they do have a variety of roles in the body, including their massive ability to be able to, well, the, it includes the massive ability for your body to be able to absorb energy from the food that you are consuming. So I'm talking about with regards to the digestive system and being able to break down carbohydrates into glucose and that's the fuel that your body actually needs on a daily basis and also with regards to the breakdown of proteins and fats so for more energy and for building more body tissue for the production of red blood cells and for obviously normal um, nervous system function as well they're also very um, high or very moderate in potassium zinc iron and calcium so potassium helps to control your blood pressure Calcium is, is important for very um, strong bones and teeth, as well as normal muscle and nerve function. Iron is needed for healthy blood, and um, zinc is involved in thousands of processes in your body, such as its ability to um, clot blood or to wound your will, you know, to heal your wounds and um, for your immune system and for protein synthesis as well. Okay. And finally, fish is usually very high in protein, such as salmon, tuna, sardine, trout. Most of them, they're very high in protein. In fact, it's a, it's a very good source of protein, especially for those of us who are vegetarians, or are on vegetable-related diets, and, we need, and we're not really getting all of our essential amino acids from um, other types of foods. And because we're not consuming um, meat proteins, we need to get those um, proteins from other sources, from plant sources, and of course, from fish sources too. So a three ounce serving of fish has between 15 and 20 grams of protein and depending on the type of fish that you're eating, okay? So fish is not just useful for those of us who are trying to watch our, our, watch our weight, but it's also because it's very high in protein and very low in fat too, right? And not just that, fish does provide all the, the very good so-called good fats, so that's the omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, whilst being very low in the, anti, or in the artery clogging um, saturated fats. And that's what's making fish um, an excellent source um, of being like a heart saving food compared to other types of, say, pl um, meat sources.